Konnichiwa, Japanese Amo no Misa desu. Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you useful words and phrases you can use at the airport. So first, I'm sorry if I look tired. It is because I am tired. Uh, Jisa boke no se de tsukarete imasu. Jisa boke de tsukarete imasu. Um, Jisa boke is how we say jet lag. Jisa, time difference. Boke. Um, so, boke can mean a few things. If you like taking pictures, you might have heard the word boke. Um, yeah, it sounds a bit different, but we say boke, boke, and for example, you can say, shashin ga boke teru, or shashin ga and boketeru here would mean out of focus or being blurry. But boketeru means to become senile. So when you grow old and you start to forget things, yeah, we say boketeru. You say bokete kita. I started to lose memories or I started to forget things so to be forgetful is boketeiru but people use the word bokeru even if they are not old so boketa koto uh, for example can even mean silly things stupid things so tsukarete te boketa koto itchatta i said something stupid because i'm so tired and boke is also used like an insult. You can call somebody stupid boke. Yeah, it's quite aggressive. Yeah, okay. Departure. Shupatsu. Shupatsu. You can say shupatsu, like let's go. Um, before a lot, um, you can say shupatsu, like Let's go before a road trip, for example. Like before you start a car, you can say shupat. And yeah, it's quite cute. And shupatsu suru to depart. Basu ga shupatsu suru, the bus leaves. And we use this verb shupatsu suru when trains, buses, uh, yeah, other like cars leave. Um, so, basu ga shupatsu suru, densha ga shupatsu suru. And yeah, you'd see the word shupatsu at the airport as well. And arrival, tochaku, tochaku, tochaku suru is the verb to arrive. Um, you can also say tsuku, you mean to arrive, and that's more common. But tochaku suru is more formal, and you see that uh, word at the airport. Especially you'd see the noun tochaku at the airport. And arrival lobby is tochaku lobby. Tochaku lobby. So you will also see a lot of katakana. Uh, yeah, English words uh, at the airport. Lobby, lobby, check in, check in, um, check in counter, check in counter. Yeah, that is usually called counter. Um, so sometimes it's kuko counter, check in counter, and at a uh, check-in counter, <laughs> check-in counter, um, you can drop off your luggage, baggage, right? Uh, so baggage, we say nimotsu or te nimotsu. So te means hand, right? So te nimotsu, uh, you might want to always translate, but you might think te nimotsu should always be 
hand luggage but a hand luggage is like a carry-on a bag that you can carry on to an airplane but for example we would say jutaku tenimotsu to mean checked baggage so yeah tenimotsu doesn't always mean carry-on so that's a bit confusing because yeah it does have the word hand but yeah so tenimotsu technically should be something that you can carry with your hands or something that is light but uh, in reality nimotsu and tenimotsu are used like they're the same words so I said jutaku tenimotsu but the word jutaku tenimotsu is very formal so you might only see that in writing uh, on the website for example um, so we usually say azukeru nimotsu to mean checked baggage azukeru means to leave something in somebody's care so it's like you will get it back eventually azukeru so, azukeru nimotsu and the yeah people working at Counters might say Oazuke ni naru nimotsu wa arimasu ka? Oazuke ni naru nimotsu wa gozaimasu ka? Do you have a baggage to check in? But people at the counters speak super formally, so they might say Oazuke ni naru onimotsu wa gozaimasu ka? It means the same as azukeru nimotsu wa arimasu ka? It's like the, you know, kind of formal but not really <laughs> formality. So employees are supposed to talk to customers in a mega polite way in Japanese. So yeah, all the verbs conjugate. Um, but yeah, if you advanced, yeah, it's good to know that they say Oazuke ni naru onimotsu wa gozaimasu ka? Gozaimasu means the same as arimasu uh, to exist, to there is, but gozaimasu is preferred in business. And suitcase, you can say suitcase. <laughs> and carry on baggage. Kinai mochikomi nimotsu. O kinai mochikomi tenimotsu. Kinai means inside the plane. And mochikomu is to take something on board or you have to take something inside the place mochikomu and then nimotsu luggage and at the counter you might get your boarding pass uh, we say tojouken tojouken and tojousuru means to board so boarding pass is tojouken uh plane ticket like you know tickets that you have to book and pay for <laughs> um you say koku ken koku ken so this word has always confused me so kuko is airport but koku ken for plane tickets i'm a native speaker but those words always confuse me. So don't worry if you <laughs> if you say it wrong because yeah natives also have a hard time <laughs> saying those words. Kuko airport koku ken plane tickets. Okay, let's test if you remember some words that I taught you already. Okay, um so here's Rosetta Stone. Okay, eki. I didn't teach you this word, but can you guess? Station. 
駅。バス,バス停、バス、バス停、あ、uh, バス stop。This is bus stop, right? What? And this one? 空港、airport、空港、電車、train、バス。飛行機、エプレイム。女の人と息子さんは空港で待っています。女の人と息子さんは空港で待っています。Woman, a woman and her son are waiting at the airport. Um, this one. Kiki wa go go kuji ni tochaku s h i m a s 飛行機、エプライン、午後、アフタヌーンズ、ピエム、9ピエム、アップ9ピエム、到着、なんだ到着、アライバル、到着する、to arrive、到着します、to arrive formally。So, the airplane will arrive at 9 pm. Okay, after you get your boarding pass, Tojo Ken,、um, you go through security check. We say, Hoan Ken Sa. Hoan Ken Sa. But most people just say, Ken Sa.、Um, yeah, the Ken Sa can mean examination, by the way. Or, Penny Motsu Kensa Baggage Inspection or Baggage Screening. So during Hoan Kensa security check, they might ask you to remove your、uh, shoes, the belt, and so on.、Uh, to remove shoes, we say, Kutsu o Nugu. So they might say, Kutsu o nui de kudasai. But if they want you to remove your belt, they'd say, Belto o hazu shite kudasai. Yeah, I know. We have way too many words for everything. Belto o hazu shite kudasai. So, Megane o hazu su. Belto o Hazu su. Yubi wa o hazu su. So, yeah, when moving accessories, usually we say hazu su. But if we have to take off our shoes or、um, like clothes, like, yeah, like dress or whatever, we say nugu. Nugu. And yeah, they might say, Pasokon o kaban kara dashte kudasai.、Uh, or they might use the word denshi kiki instead of pasokon. But yeah,、uh, dasu、uh, or tori dasu means take something out of something. So, kaban kara tori dashte kudasai. And after security check, you must find your flight. Bin. Bin. And I'm not talking about rubbish bin, like for garbage.、Um, yeah, that is gomi bako.、Uh, bin means flight.、Uh, direct flight, for example, we say choko bin. Choko bin. Uh, 
transfer, we say nori kae, nori kae, uh, nori kaeru to transfer. Um, yeah, because you'd probably have to transfer like trains. For example, Shinjuku eki de nori kaeru means to transfer at uh, Shinjuku station, which is the worst station to change trains. Ugh. And then you board a plane. Tojo shimas. And then you have to eat horrible airplane food. Kinai shoku. Remember, kinai means in flight, inside the airplane. Kinai shoku. Shoku is the kanji for to eat. Taberu, right? Kinai shoku is airplane food or in flight food. Usually quite manzui, yaki. Um, I mean, if you can afford AMA or JAL, uh, JAL or ANA, JARU or ANA, then the food might not be bad, but yeah, I don't know. Um, or that you can afford business class, maybe the food is okay. Um, but usually airplane food is not great. Um, so I usually bring my own snacks and stuff. Like usually onigiri, rice balls, if I'm leaving Japan. Um, uh, other cases, like I yeah, grab some sandwiches. It, it's just nice to have something you like, just in case, you know. Nen no tame. Nen you arrive! Remember how to say arrive? Tochaku. So let's look at uh, Rosetta Stone again. Toebakore. It will arrive in an hour. And then immigration. Nyukoku shinsa. Ugh. New koku shinsa. Um, yeah, new koku is ent entering a country. New, that's the kanji for to enter. Hairu, koku, kuni, uh, country. It's entering a country. Shinsa is inspection. So, yeah, passport control is. Also, like, new koku shinsa. Okay, passport. Passport. <laughs> passport. Let's check. Was it the stone again? Passport wa chizu no ue ni arimasu. Uh, chizu. Map. On the map. パスポートはスーツケースの中にあります。That is a little bit silly, I must say. これはちょっとバカなことしてると思う。チケットの横にあります。So <laughs> um, you can say ticket, but I want you to remember the word 航空券. Well, 航空券 is the plane ticket. Um, Tojo is boarding pass. So, okay, I'll teach you phrases that you can use at passport control. Okay, could I see your passport, please? They might say, Pasporto onegai shimas. Or, Pasporto onegai shimas. Onegai shimas is please, right? Passport, please. Um, or they might say, Pasporto o misete kudasai. Miseru, to show. So, misete kudasai. Please show me your passport. Or they might say, Pasporto no goteji o onegai shimasu. Don't panic if you hear the word goteji. It's like a super formal, polite word, right? Goteji itadakemaska is just an extra formal way to say, could you show me please? Yeah, goteji is 
you showing me um yeah only used in business speech but you probably won't hear this word unless the officer is mega polite <laughs> Protege o onegaishimasu. Otherwise, you'd most likely hear Pasporto o And if you want to say, here you go, you can say o And when you want to say, here you go, um, we usually say the like, dozo or hi when giving something, right? But because you want to be also super polite to an officer, you know, just in case, <laughs> uh, you could say, お願いします. Please, like, please check it for me. And they might check your visa. Uh, visa, we say visa, usually, but at the airport, they might use this formal word, sasho. Sasho, sasho wa arimasu ka? But I think they would say visa wa arimasu ka? Usually. It really depends on the mood of the officer, I think. <laughs> so, yeah. Generally speaking, the word visa is definitely used a lot more than sasho. Like some Japanese people might. Be like, what is sasho? <laughs> you know, that's how uncommon it is, unless you really travel a lot. And they might ask you the purpose of your visit. I mean, there are a few ways they could ask. So, kanko desu ka? Kanko means sightseeing. So, they might just say, kanko desu ka? For sightseeing. Or they might ask, taizai mokte? Teki wa nan desu ka? So it might not be taizai, it could be ryoko no mokuteki wa nan desu ka? O toko mokuteki wa nan desu ka? Either way, they are asking what the purpose of your visit is, and mokuteki means purpose. So that's the word that you need to recognize. So, like I said, for sightseeing, you can say kanko desu. Kanko desu. Okay. For work, you can say shigoto desu. Shigoto desu. Some people might say bijinesu desu. Bijinesu desu. For business. And then, how long will you be staying? Um, so, dono kurai o dore kurai can be used like how much or how long. So, dono kurai taizai shimasu ka? Dono kurai taizai suru yote desu ka? Yote planning. Taizai suru. This is on the word that you really want to remember to stay. So, how long are you planning to stay? Dono kurai taizai suru yote desu ka? Oh, it could be nan nichi kan taizai suru yote desu ka? Nan nichi kan means how many days? And then, yeah, uh, counting is going to be difficult, but. Uh, I think, okay, let's start with a week. Ishukan. Ishukan. Two weeks. Nishukan. Three weeks. Sanshukan. A month or four weeks. Uh, Ikagetsukan. Ikagetsukan. And then at this at the end. Ikagetsukan desu. Oh, two months. Nikagetsukan. Three months. Sankagetsukan. But yeah, 
And then once you go through uh, immigration, you might still have to um, do customs. So, but usually you just show a piece of paper that declares that you don't have anything or you do. And then, yeah, it's pretty easy. And then finally, yeah, you can relax a little bit. It usually, if you arrive at Narita or Haneda, big airports, you can buy SIM cards and you might want to take a train or a bus because taxi in Japan is, I mean, in Tokyo, is very expensive. And Narita, for example, is not actually located in Tokyo, but in Chiba, Chiba prefecture. So usually it costs a lot. Um, yeah, it could, yeah, so you can ask taxi drivers, but usually it's very expensive. So I would recommend you to take a bus or, yeah, train. All right, that's it for today. I hope you found uh, the phrases I've taught you helpful. Um, you might not need to speak that much, um, but it's good to know anyway. I mean, you might not even have to speak Japanese that much, so don't worry too much. Uh, and, and you might not have to speak Japanese at all, but you know, you never know. It's good to learn Japanese <laughs> if you're going to Japan. But don't stress too much, don't worry too much, you're going to be fine. Um, people will be nice to you most of the time. <laughs> and make sure to check entry restrictions. Because, um, yeah, they keep changing them. But, but right now, you need to... Um, fill a form uh, online, uh, search visit Japan web. Yeah, I had to create an account and upload documents um, on the website. So uh, in, in back in December, no, November. Yeah, and they still seem to do that. So yeah, make sure to check. Um, the official websites <laughs> and also I would like to thank Rosetta Stone for sponsoring this video you can get their subscription for three months or a year um, but they also have the lifetime subscription and you can use my code to get 40% off so usually it costs $299 but with my link, you can get it for $174. Yeah, <laughs> 174. <laughs> and you can also get a refund within 30 days and get all of your money back. So yeah, make sure to go check it out. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please don't worry too much if, even if you don't like memorize all the words I've told you in this video. Like you know, after watching it one time, it's not possible. Um, so yeah, don't stress. Just keep listening to this video or keep watching this video. Take notes, and you've got this. Also. Um, if you do take notes, um, please do share them with me on Twitter or Instagram. You can tag me. I would love to see them. And yeah. Uh, anyway, I do hope you get to go to Japan soon. Okay. Mite kurete, arigatou gozaimashita. Jaa, mata nee.